my role is um, Deputy Regional Director of uh, Disability Service in Sydney and I run and commission $500 million worth of disability supports to people in Sydney. I noticed that with the team, some of the things that really signified for me that we weren't really taking accountability seriously were things like deadlines weren't being met, uh, people weren't apologising for not meeting deadlines, people were turning up late for meetings and not really acknowledging that and not acknowledging the time wasted by people waiting for them to turn up to meetings. So I chose team coaching as this approach because I'd experienced individualised coaching and I really wanted to share that experience with my team, but as a team and I felt that would keep us, that would be a team building exercise as well as delivering results for our business. We had the skills to turn up on time, we had the, till, the, the, the skills to um, complete things on time. It was really about changing attitude and changing behaviours. So when we started off on this journey, we rated ourselves and out of 10, and we rated ourselves at 6 out of 10. And we set a goal of 9 out of 10, really, to really focus on and to really stretch ourselves. And it also gave us an opportunity to actually celebrate the success of achieving that goal. The first is the uh, number of bounce backs we were getting for ministerials that were sent up. So previously we would say about 30% um, weren't coming back for rework, so 70% bounce back. We're now getting around 90% not coming back to us for rework, which is, you know, great. Um, the other outcome is that meetings are starting on time. We've got 100% start on time. So the measurable difference I've seen as a result of team coaching is a reduction in unplanned absences from work. That's one of the major differences for, for this programme for me.